I never change my class time. Uh, so, okay. Uh, okay. Everybody, everybody is here. Okay, review. When we have a vibrating plate on rigid wall, say this is LX, this is LY, and this is a vibrating and radiated sound. Okay. What we learned in the last lecture. And if I ask you that if I ask you to pick out one key word or mathematical expression that dominates the sound radiation from this plate, what would be? Okay, radiating sound in this space, if I use the coordinate x and y, or z, z, Then that can be expressed as it has a some magnitude oscillating time and of, of course omega is related with wave number k. k is a free space wave number. What does it mean by free space wave number? Okay, what is a k? And then we can write this spatial dependent some pressure can be expressed as component and that has j, j, j over there. And I may argue that there is a sum amplitude, P0. Right? And these has to satisfy, have to the following governing equation in the res in the reason over here, where we do not have any source. So source-free domain on, in, V that does not have sources, sound sources. Right? Because this is homogeneous. Right? Okay, that is clear. This plus, is it true? That means one of the students are alive, <laughs> not sleeping. 
Okay, thank you very much. My mistake. Because this comes from right? Okay. Take on derivative with respect to time twice, you give me minus j multiply minus j, that is minus one and across the river using the bridge that we call equal, I have to pay minus one to the bridge, right? Okay. So that means what? Means the wave number are related to each other. Right? Just to put this one over here and I obtain this. Okay, note also that the wave number in x direction wave number in x direction in other words if I take the surface of boundary on S then I can say wave number in X has to be m pi over r because in x direction when I have one wave like this and I can say kx equal to 2 pi over lambda in x direction and in this case that is 2 pi over lambda x lambda x is twice of this that I call then I can write that is 2LX, okay? Therefore, that is pi over LX. If I have one more, that will be 2 pi over LX. One more, 3 pi over LX, right? So I may write this is KXM, and similar reason I can say this is this on S. Therefore, I can argue that the wave number KZ square is equal to K square minus KX M square plus k y n square. And in fact, k z represent the propagation pattern in z direction. Okay, that is one of our interest. Okay? So that means, depending on the magnitude of KXM and KXZ, KZ can be either positive or negative. If it is positive, then wave propagate in Z direction, propagate in Z direction. But if KZ is negative, KZ kz square is negative, then kz would have imaginary part. Therefore, if I plug the positive imaginary part over there, that means exponential minus something in z. That physically means that the wave is exponentially decay in z direction. That we call evanescent wave. 